Let's talk about ice cream. Do you like to eat ice cream? I'm a big fan of ice cream. It's one of my favorite desserts, and I can never resist indulging in a scoop or two. The creamy texture and the wide range of flavors available make it a delightful treat that always puts me in a great mood. What is your favorite flavor of ice cream? My favorite flavor of ice cream is mint chocolate chip. I'm fond of the refreshing taste of mint combined with the crunchy bits of chocolate. It's a perfect balance of sweetness and coolness that satisfies my palate. How often did you eat ice cream when you were a child? I ate ice cream quite often. It was a special treat that my parents would occasionally surprise me with. Whether it was a visit to an ice cream parlor or a simple bowl of homemade ice cream by my mom, those moments brought me great joy and a sense of excitement. How popular is ice cream in your country? Ice cream is very popular in my country. It's a common dessert that people enjoy all year round, especially during the hot summer months. There are many ice cream shops and brands that offer a variety of flavors and toppings to suit different preferences and tastes. General ideas for talking about the topic of ice cream for an IELTS speaking test. Discuss your personal preferences and opinions regarding ice cream, such as whether you like it or not, how often you eat it, what flavors you enjoy. You can talk about your childhood memories and experiences related to ice cream, such as when and where you ate it, who you shared it with, how it made you feel. Discuss the availability and popularity of ice cream in your country or area, such as where you can buy it, what kinds of shops or brands there are. How much it costs, who likes it more. You can talk about your interest and skills in making ice cream yourself, such as whether you have tried it or not, what equipment and ingredients you need, what steps you follow, what challenges you face. Explain the benefits and drawbacks of eating ice cream, such as how it affects your health, mood, teeth, weight. You can also mention some alternatives or substitutes for ice cream that you like or dislike. Vocabulary Decadent a word used to describe something that is very rich, indulgent, and delicious, such as a chocolate ice cream sundae. Drizzle. To pour a thin stream of liquid, such as syrup or chocolate sauce, over something, such as ice cream or cake. Gelato. An Italian style ice cream that is denser and smoother than regular ice cream, usually made with milk instead of cream and less air. Gooey. A word used to describe something that is soft, sticky, and moist, such as melted cheese or chocolate fudge. Gourmet. A word used to describe something that is of high quality, refined and sophisticated, such as an artisanal ice cream made with natural ingredients. Maraschino cherry. A type of cherry that is preserved in sugar syrup and dyed red, often used as a garnish for ice cream sundaes and cocktails. Parfait. A layered dessert that consists of ice cream, whipped cream, fruit, nuts and syrup in a tall glass. Praline. A candy made of nuts coated in caramelized sugar, often chopped and mixed with chocolate or used as a topping for ice cream. Rocky Road. An ice cream flavor that contains chocolate ice cream, marshmallows and nuts. Serendipity. The occurrence of something good or beneficial by chance or luck, such as finding your favorite flavor of ice cream on sale. Silkiness. The quality of being smooth, soft and glossy, such as the texture of some types of ice cream or chocolate. Sorbet. A frozen dessert made of fruit juice or puree, sugar and water, usually without dairy products. It has a lighter and more refreshing taste than ice cream. Split. A type of sundae that consists of a banana cut in half. I hope you found the video useful. You may like to download my PDF which has these new questions and model answers in it. I'll put a link in the description below. Also, for my mock speaking tests, ebook, and also my IELTS speaking success course. Check out the description below for all of those, and best of luck for your preparation for your IELTS speaking test.